It is the Flow Friday Night Sports Show, and it's time for us now to head over to Hopeton and Bueller and find out how those Southern Mallee Giants have gone in Wimmera Netball across last weekend. Uh, joining me on the line, Zali Brown is back. Hello, Zali. How are you? I'm very well, thanks, Jake. How are you? Very well, thank you. Home game last weekend against Ararat. And your A-grade girls, your girls saluted comfortably in the end, 63-39. to 39. Big win. Yeah, it was a great game. Good team effort. I think we had a lot of versatility, um, which really got us over the line. Girls going from attack to defence and moving throughout. And it just clicked. It worked. And it was a really good win. Yeah, any time you put 60-odd goals on the board... Um, you're going all right. 100 goals in the game, uh, so uh, obviously nice and free flowing, and uh, it all clicked into place for you. Yeah, it was actually a lovely day. Sunny, no wind, perfect conditions for netball. Excellent. So um, the A grade girls have had a win. Who was best for you? Um, how did you go, first of all? How did you go on the day? I went okay, you know, most of my goals went in, which is always handy, um, and we got on top, so I can't complain at all, and the girl I shot with for three out of the four quarters uh, got best on, so she also had an amazing game, Steph. Happy days. Uh, it's a combination that's obviously working. If you put 63 up, you're going okay. Yeah, definitely can't complain with that. I think think the coach is very happy. Good stuff. All right. What about the rest of the club, the uh, the Giants crew? How did you shape up in the other grades? Yeah, so our B grade got their first win of the year, winning by six, which was extremely exciting. Another close game, but we managed to hold on in the end. Excellent. That's and great. It, it's fabulous. And then our under-15s won their first game in a couple of years. So it was <laughs> Extremely exciting that the girls were able to get up. Lemonade and raspberries at 50 paces for the youngsters. Uh, Absolutely. Mum and dad might have uh, indulged in something a little stronger, but uh, why not winners are grinners? Exactly. They were very exciting, emotional, tears all around, happy days. Oh, good stuff. Hey, uh, what about uh, the club after uh, proceedings? I imagine, uh, as you normally do on a home game, uh, would have been a function of sorts. How did you go with that? Yeah, it was good. Um, we had our flight nights. We all pretended that we flew around the globe, um, as no one's been able to do that recently. It was really good um, to have people stick around and just celebrate some good on-court success. Uh, Favourite daiquiri or drink of the evening? Uh, gosh, I'm not a huge drinker, but I do, don't mind a pina colada. Ah, bit of a tropical vibe. There you go. So uh, they were obviously on offer. What what country did they say the pina colada was from? Hawaii, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> Tropical? <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. No, well, that's it. As long as a good night was had by all. And um, not every country has alcoholic drinks in its, uh, in its arsenal. So uh, I'm sure there are a few um, – what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, uh, what do they serve on the cruise ships, the old fake – Cocktails, mocktails, that's the word I was mocktails. looking for. Yes, yes, <laughs> mocktails. They go all right yes. too. Don't worry about that. Yes, I think our under-15 girls uh, might have had some mocktails for the night. <laughs> that's the way, good stuff. Uh, other A-grade games, let's have a look at uh, other matches played. So Minyat Matoa took on Horsham, and uh, Horsham were a bit too good here, 56-31. Yeah, I think that was what we expected. Uh, Demons are setting the standard once again for the season, and they're definitely going to be the team to beat. Mm, no doubt. And uh, the other one was an absolute thriller. This one at Stall, the Warwick Eagles uh, took off down there. 100 goals even scored for the game, and Stall scored 51 of them. So uh, a two-goal win, thriller between those two. Absolutely. Almost a draw, almost a draw. <laughs> um, but no, Stall managed to get their first one. Very exciting for them, and a I can imagine the spectators could have gone either way in the last quarter. Yeah, no doubt. So um, we have a look at the ladder now, and the Giants have popped back into the top four. That's good news. So Horsham on top undefeated. Ararat 3-2, and two, and this is where the logjam starts. So 3-2 and two for Minyat Matoa, 3-2 and two for the Southern Mallee Giants. Two wins, two losses for the Horsham Saints, but they've only played the four matches, so they've got a game in hand. Dimbola, two wins, three losses. So between second and sixth at the moment, there is one game the difference. And uh, look, six into five doesn't go, does it? No, it, it really doesn't. It's going to be an interesting uh, upcoming week. 
when we finish off the first lap of everyone playing everyone and it'll be yeah interesting to see where we are midway through the season yep so uh stall one win as you just mentioned and the warwick eagles yet to break their duck they couldn't have gone any closer last week and um, so um i'm sure they'll be knocking on the door for a win soon yeah not far off it and i think it'll only be a matter of weeks mm. all right let's have a look at the three a-grade matchups this week we're going to start as we always do with the southern mallee giants and this week, you're on the road to Stall. I know. Good old drive to Stall, um, which is what we love. But they are coming off a close win, so they'll be full of energy. But we're also coming off a pretty good win. So I think I think it's going to be a good game in Stall. Well, uh, looking at the ladder, the way things are situated, the fact that Stall uh, had, a, had a win, but it was only just you'd have to back the Giants here. Uh, and I know uh, we talk a lot with our hearts rather than our heads, but in this one, I think it's both. <laughs> yes, well, I, I think I back us every week, uh, yeah, Jake. But as you should, as you should. I uh, <laughs> definitely hope we come away with a good win this weekend. All right. Other matches, let's have a look at them. There's a couple of rippers here. Ararat, uh, Minyat Matsoa, match of the round stuff, this. Um, ooh, pick a winner there. I think I think based off what I saw on the weekend, I think we've played both Minyat and Ararat. I do think Minyat are the stronger side as of right now, but it'll be interesting to see how they go travelling to Ararat. Yeah, second and third on the ladder as it sits right now. And um, the other game is uh, also probably equal billing uh, in terms of match of the round status, but fifth versus sixth on the ladder at the moment. You've got the Horsham Saints taking on Dimbola and pick a winner here at your own peril. Yeah, this one will be tough. Uh, obviously, Saints are coming off the bye, so they'll have nice, fresh legs. Um but Dimmy also didn't play, so they're both coming off really <laughs> a bye, I guess. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I don't know who I'm going to back, Jay. I think, I think I'll back Dimmy at home. All right. Yeah, I, I, I'm a bit the same. Uh, I'd toss a coin with that one. But um, So we've got Horsham having a bye and the Warwick Eagles not having the bye. Uh, they'll be hosting Nil in the other grades, but their A grade obviously won't be playing because Nil doesn't have an A grade. No, that's, <laughs> that's right. They can... Rest up and get ready to go the following week. All right. Uh, plenty happening for the Southern Mallee Giants. So good luck with your trip to Stall. And uh, Zali, always love catching up for a chat. Uh, good luck in the goal circle this weekend. Hope you sink plenty of them. Thanks, Jay. I hope so too. <laughs>